Hi, I'm Milo, a dachshund. My friend Milo the Labrador has an amazing story. His owner John loves football and Milo wanted to play too. Here's Milo the Labrador to tell you what happened. Take it away, Milo. Thank you, Milo. Let's go. John was an energetic eight-year-old boy who lived in a small town with his family. His best friend in the whole world was his golden retriever, Milo. Milo was more than just a pet. He was John's loyal companion, always by his side whether it was a sunny day or pouring rain. Together they explored the backyard, chased after squirrels, and shared countless adventures. But there was one thing that John loved more than anything else. Football. Every afternoon, John could be found in his backyard kicking his football around, pretending to be a famous soccer player scoring the winning goal. Milo, with his wagging tail and eager eyes, was always nearby, watching John with great interest. John often wished Milo could play football with him, imagining how fun it would be to have Milo as a teammate. One day, as John sat on the porch sipping lemonade after a vigorous football practice, an idea sparked in his mind. What if I could teach Milo to play football, he thought. It seemed like a crazy idea at first, but the more John pondered it, the more he wanted to give it a try. He knew Milo was a smart dog and always ready for a new challenge. Milo, what do you think? Want to learn how to play football? John asked, patting Milo's head. Milo responded with a joyful bark and a playful leap, as if he understood John's plan perfectly. With a heart full of excitement, John decided to embark on the ambitious project of turning Milo into a football-playing dog. Little did he know, this journey would bring them even closer and create memories they would cherish forever. John woke up early the next morning, eager to start Milo's training. He grabbed his football and headed outside, Milo trotting happily beside him. John knew this wouldn't be an easy task, but he was determined to make it work. Okay, Milo, the first thing we need to learn is how to kick the ball, John explained, holding the football in front of Milo. Milo tilted his head to the side, his eyes fixed on the ball, but he didn't move. John tried again, gently tapping the ball with his foot to show Milo what he wanted him to do. Milo watched intently, then barked and wagged his tail, but still didn't touch the ball. John realized that he needed to break the process down into smaller steps. Let's try something else, John said, picking up the ball. He decided to focus on getting Milo to interact with the ball first. He rolled the ball towards Milo, encouraging him to touch it. Milo sniffed the ball curiously and gave it a little nudge with his nose. Good boy, Milo. That's it, John cheered, rewarding Milo with a treat. They repeated this exercise several times, with Milo getting more comfortable each time. Gradually, John introduced the concept of kicking the ball. He placed Milo's paw on the ball and gently pushed it forward, mimicking a kicking motion. At first, Milo seemed confused, but John's patience and encouragement paid off. After several attempts, Milo began to understand what John wanted him to do. He started using his nose and paws to move the ball, much to John's delight. As days turned into weeks, John and Milo's training sessions became a regular part of their routine. They practiced different moves and strategies and Milo's progress was evident. He learned how to dribble the ball with his paws and even managed to make small kicks with his snout. John couldn't have been prouder of Milo. His friend's enthusiasm and dedication made each training session fun and rewarding. They faced challenges along the way, but their bond grew stronger with each passing day. John was thrilled to see Milo enjoying football as much as he did. Every afternoon after school, John and Milo would head to the backyard for their football training. John set up a mini goalpost and marked out a small field. He also made sure to have plenty of treats and toys to keep Milo motivated. All right, Milo, let's work on our dribbling today, John said, tossing the ball onto the grass. Milo immediately sprang into action, chasing after the ball with his tail wagging furiously. He used his nose to push the ball forward, then switched to his paws, trying to mimic John's movements. John watched Milo with admiration. You're doing great, Milo. Keep it up, he encouraged. They practiced dribbling for a while, with John guiding Milo and correcting his technique. Milo's determination and enthusiasm were infectious, making each session a joy. Next, John decided to teach Milo how to pass the ball. He showed Milo how to push the ball towards him with a gentle nudge. At first, Milo was a bit hesitant, 
but with John's guidance and lots of treats, he soon got the hang of it. Perfect pass, Milo, John cheered as Milo successfully sent the ball rolling towards him. They practiced passing back and forth, developing a rhythm and understanding that made their teamwork even stronger. One of the funniest moments during their training came when John tried to teach Milo how to head the ball. He gently tossed the ball towards Milo, hoping he would hit it with his head. Instead, Milo jumped up and caught the ball in his mouth, thinking it was a game of fetch. John couldn't help but laugh. Nice try, Milo. Maybe we'll stick to dribbling and passing for now, he said, ruffling Milo's fur. Despite the occasional mishap, John and Milo's training sessions were filled with laughter and joy. Over time, Milo became more skilled and confident with the ball. He learned how to maneuver it around obstacles, pass it accurately, and even make small kicks. John was amazed at Milo's progress and proud of the hard work they had put in together. One sunny Saturday, John's friends from the neighborhood organized a football game at the local park. John was excited to join, but he had an unusual request for the team. Hey guys, can Milo play with us? John asked, holding Milo's leash. His friends exchanged puzzled looks. Your dog? Play football? One of them asked skeptically. Trust me, Milo's really good. We've been practicing a lot, John insisted. His friends were curious and agreed to give Milo a chance. As the game began, John and Milo stood on one side of the field facing the opposing team. The other kids were unsure about having a dog on the field, but John was determined to prove that Milo could play. The whistle blew and the game started. Milo ran alongside John, keeping up with the action. At first, the other players were cautious, but as they saw Milo's enthusiasm and skill, their doubts began to fade. Milo quickly became an integral part of John's team. He chased after the ball, using his nose and paws to dribble and pass. The kids were amazed at how well Milo could maneuver the ball, and they started to include him in their plays. Pass it to Milo! One of John's friends shouted as they advanced towards the goal. John sent a perfect pass to Milo, who nudged the ball forward with his nose, then kicked it with his paw. The ball rolled past the defenders and into the goal. The park erupted in cheers. Milo had scored. John ran over to Milo, hugging him tightly. You did it, Milo. You scored a goal, he exclaimed, overjoyed. The game continued, with Milo playing an active role. He made several more impressive plays, earning the respect and admiration of all the kids. By the end of the game, Milo had become the star player, and John couldn't have been prouder. As the game reached its final minutes, the score was tied. Both teams were determined to win, and the tension was high. John's team had one last chance to score, and they knew Milo would play a crucial part. All right, everyone, let's give it our best shot. Milo, are you ready? John asked, looking at his loyal companion. Milo barked in response, his tail wagging with excitement. The final play began. John dribbled the ball down the field, passing it to his teammates and dodging the opposing players. Milo ran alongside him, ready for the perfect moment. As they approached the goal, John sent a precise pass to Milo. With the defenders closing in, Milo took a deep breath and focused. He nudged the ball forward with his nose, then gave it a final push with his paw. The ball sailed past the goalkeeper and into the net. The park erupted in cheers once more. Milo had scored the winning goal. John and his friends lifted Milo up in celebration, chanting his name. Milo, Milo, Milo! John hugged Milo tightly. You're the best, Milo, he said, tears of joy in his eyes. Milo wagged his tail and licked John's face. We're the best team, John. The game ended with John and Milo as the heroes. The neighborhood kids praised Milo's skills, and everyone agreed that he was an amazing football player. Later that evening, John and Milo sat on the porch, watching the sunset. They were both tired but incredibly happy. John stroked Milo's fur, thinking about the incredible journey they had been on together. You know, Milo, I never thought a dog could play football, John said with a smile. Milo looked up at John, his eyes filled with affection. Well, you never know what you can do until you try. John laughed and hugged Milo again. You're right, Milo. You're absolutely right. And so John and Milo's bond grew even stronger, and they continued to share many more adventures together. The memory of their football triumph remained one of their most cherished moments, a testament to their friendship 
and the power of perseverance.